In this video, I'll demonstrate the scatter plot graph in Stata. Scatter plots are often useful when you're trying to demonstrate the relationship between two interval variables. Now, scatter plots work best when you have a modest sample size, say 150 or less. Once you get more than that, it becomes difficult to differentiate between your points. Now, there are ways of dealing with that, and I'll show you those at the end of the video. Here we have two interval variables, educ, which is the number of years of completed schooling of respondents, and pa educ, which is the number of completed years of schooling of their fathers. Of course, theories of social reproduction suggest that there should be a relationship between the two, though of course other factors are likely to impact the number of years of completed schooling in our respondents. Still, there should be a relationship. First, let me illustrate the variation we're trying to explain. Here I'll actually do a scatter plot, but on my x-axis, my independent variable, I'm just going to use a single value called point. Everybody's given a 1, and it just shows you the kind of vertical um, variation we're trying to explain in our dependent variable. So the command for a two-way scatter plot is pretty simple. In the command window, simply type two-way parenthesis scatter, then your dependent variable that you're trying to explain, hadouk, and then again, I'm just going to use an independent variable that everybody has the same value on called point. It's a value of 1. Parenthesis and hit return. So again, here you can see everybody on the x-axis is at a value of 1. But we can see that our respondents vary in the number of years of completed schooling. And while we only see one dot, there may be a number of individual respondents at that particular value. I'm going to go ahead and close that. Now let's actually rerun the command, but instead of point, Let's use our independent variable, pa educ. And so what we can see is we look along the x-axis as the number of years of completed schooling increase among fathers. We also see that there's a tendency for the number of years of completed schooling in our respondents to also increase. Now, it's obviously not a perfect correspondence. For example, if you look at basically the value of 12 on father's education, we can see that respondents vary anywhere from about 11 years of schooling all the way up to 20. Nonetheless, overall we sort of see a relationship that as the value of one goes up, so does the other. Now if there was no relationship, what we would basically expect to see is a bunch of scattered dots that show no tendency toward an upward or downward trajectory. To conduct a scatter plot through the menu system is pretty simple. Go to Graphics, to a Graph, and then you'll actually end up creating your scatter plot. So hit create. Basic plots, scatter is the first thing, that's fine. Your y variable is your dependent variable, it's what you're trying to explain. So a duke in this case. And your x variable is your explanatory or independent variable, and that's pa a duke. And go ahead and hit accept and OK. So pretty simple. Finally, let me show you just a, a couple of options in uh, the scatter plot that allow you to do a few different things. Let's say, for example, that you wanted to label each of your points by something. And this is often useful when you're doing a state level analysis and you've got a scatter plot of your states. You can label them by their abbreviations. I'm just going to go ahead and label these um, individuals by some variable. So I'm just going to pull up the last two way scatter plot command. And then inside the last parenthesis, just do comma, m label. And then another parenthesis, let's go ahead and um, just use health. doesn't make sense, but this would be the equivalent of saying use the state abbreviation, if, assuming you had a variable like that for a state level analysis. And go ahead and hit return. So you can see the health has been added as a label for each of those dots. Another one, let's say, for example, you have you know, 500 or 1,000 respondents and you want to look at a scatter plot, but when you do so, it just looks like a big blob of dots and you can't really distinguish. There's actually a user written command called sunflower that allows you to do that. And it doesn't really make sense for me to use it on this data, but I'll go ahead and do it. It's simply sunflower, then your dependent variable, a duke, and then your independent variable, and hit return. And if you get an error message indicating state it doesn't have sunflower, you can find that um, code and download it. So here you can look in the legend and see that the, or, the orange uh, hexagon um, has a number of petals. Each petal equals a number of observations. The green ones, each petal equals you know one observation and so on. So that allows you to sort of see beyond you know, a big blob of dots. The other thing you can do, let me go back to my original scatter plot. And what I said is that you actually have some of these dots and there are a number of respondents behind each of those dots. 
So what you can do is use a jitter command, which sort of shakes them out a little bit. So you'd simply do a comma, jitter, and then give it a value by which to sort of shake things out, and three is a good place to start. So your command will look something like that, and let's hit return. So you can see how it kind of just shook them out of their, their position just a little bit, so you can see a little bit more of your respondents. So that's the two-way scatterplot. Hope it's helpful.